Hey guys and welcome back to another video where today we're going to be predicting the scores of week 2 of the 2021-2022 Premier League season. Now before we get started, as always, <laughs> what we do, yeah. let's have a quick look back at how well we got on in game week 1. So last week had a fairly decent week with six correct results and one perfect score. Four of them being close because we are using this new format now. Uh, so that means I had an overall points total this week of nine. Which puts you in 33rd position, yep. Nathan, which is a lot better than myself. I'm all the way down in um, some like 65th position, I think it is. Yeah, 65th position. I've got 5.5 points, uh, no perfect scores, but I did have four correct scores and three of those being close. A lot better than though than the man, the myth, the legend, which is Ian Lovesy. Mm -hmm. But what I can tell you is top scorer of game week one gets the yellow cap is Vircon. Now Vircon, also known as Jason Liu, a friend of the show, played last season of course, came away with three exact points, uh, match, came away with three exact scores altogether and ended up on 14.5 points for the game week. Now if you'd like to play along at home, mm -hmm. And join the league, all you've got to do is head over to superbrew.com, uh, look for the Premier League predictions, and join my pool. And the pool, or league, as yep. we like to call it, the code for that is H-U-B-S-B-O-X-Y. But that's enough for the housekeeping for this week. Let's move on and make some predictions for game week two. So first up, Saturday at midday, we have got Liverpool v Burnley. Now, Liverpool, last time around, 3-0 Norwich. Uh, Norwich look in deep trouble. We'll get to them later. Great performance by Liverpool. Great goals by Mo Salah starting off the season well. And then Burnley... Just narrowly missing out to Brighton. Close game, but very unlucky there. But Liverpool at home, first game at Anfield. They should be able to finish this one comfortably. Burnley traditionally not so good away. So 2-0 Liverpool, maybe more. Yeah, I completely agree, Nathan. I think Liverpool are going to take all three points in this one. This one is live on BT Sport at 12.30 on Saturday. Lunchtime. Yeah, going away against Norwich last weekend and yeah. uh, coming away with a 3-0 victory. Uh, Burnley scoring first in that match against Brighton, but Brighton came into that game well. So, uh, yeah, I don't... Even though last season Burnley came away with a 1-0 victory yeah. uh, over the Reds at Anfield, I can't see it happening again this season. So I'm going to go for a 2-0 win to Liverpool. Next up, at the first of the 3 yeah. o'clock matches on Saturday, we've got Aston Villa coming up against Newcastle. Aston Villa suffering defeat on the first uh, weekend of the season where they went 3-2 down against new boys Watford. Watford ever played ever so well in that match, yeah. however. And Newcastle going ahead in their match against West Ham. But Quality then, game, that. It was a very good game. Antonio was superb, actually. Yeah. But um, Newcastle ultimately lost that match 4-2 at home. So, a tight affair. Villa at home. Mm -hmm. Their fans back in the yep. stadium for the first time in, what, 16, 17 months? Something like that. So, they're going to get off, want to get off onto a positive start now after that mm -hmm. first week defeat. So, I think they're going to narrowly win this one 2-1. Interesting. I've gone for Villa 2-1 as well. I think they're just going to slightly edge out Newcastle. They do seem to collapse towards the end games. They start off well, but it just seems to fall apart. And Villa need that time to gel. And Dean Smith will get into them, especially after that such a poor performance against Watford, in particular in the first half. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 Villa win. Next up, we've got Crystal Palace versus Brentford. Now, Brentford were absolutely superb against Arsenal. Mind saying that, Arsenal were absolutely dire in that one. First and game. decimated. They, yes. Their team, there was no party, no um, Aubameyang, no Lacazette. No depth Saka at all. was on the bench as well. So. Yes, but they were still poor and they still had quality in that team, especially a lot of first-team players as well. Coming up against the Palace side, who got dismantled 3-0 by Chelsea. Uh, they were absolutely all over the place in that game. So, I can only see a Brentford win here and I'm going to go for another 2-0 victory to the bees well i disagree even though palace were absolutely mm -hmm. dire against chelsea yep. although chelsea uh, look absolutely awesome going forward zaha had a chance but no uh, chance he, he, he squandered the 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 the, uh, the chance that he did have uh, i think mm -hmm. palace will bounce back in this one it is at south house yep. Park. the fans will want to see a reaction from that uh, that first week defeat against chelsea so i'm gonna go for a palace win 2-1 next we've got leeds coming up 
against Everton and talking about dire performances, mm -hmm. they were steamrolled by Manchester United last week. So five awful one. defending. It was indeed. And Everton, surprisingly enough, they actually came away with a victory over mm -hmm. Southampton. I think Southampton went ahead in that match yes. as well. Uh, so they came back well, showed their steel and um, bounced back. But uh, another difficult one to call, especially Ellen Road, where the crowd are going to be out for the first time. First time Leeds to be in the Premier League as well with fans. Yeah, that, that's right. In Since a long while. In a long while. So, but I think Everton, I've seen enough from Everton last week to suggest mm -hmm. they'll... Um, come away with all three points so I'm actually going to go for a 3-1 away victory to the Toffees Richarlison surprisingly mm -hmm. played last week interesting I'm actually going to go for a 1-1 here because Ellen Road is going to be a difficult place to go for any team this year and in particular I think Everton aren't going to do so well away compared to them at home and not only that Bielsa is going to be right into him he's going to focus a lot more on defence as well like he did towards the end of last season when they tightened things up so I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw yeah and if that is the draw mm -hmm. comes in last weekend there were no actual draws in the Premier yeah. League uh, which is unheard of really so. that will be the first draw of the season I think anyway moving on next up we have Man City versus Norwich Norwich losing 3-0 looked awful defensively did get some things forward but they couldn't get there finish their chances and just typical Norwich really whereas Man City losing 1-0 to Spurs terrible record at the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium but they're going to reply back with it they are at home of course it could be more than 3-0 but I'm going to go for 3-0 three, three in this one I think it might actually could be up to 5 or 6-0 Really, yeah, yeah. They're gonna, they are going to have to bounce back, and they, they usually do after yes. uh, being defeated in the previous fixture. Of course, they, yeah, as you say, terrible record at the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Yeah, they'll bounce back. I'm going for a comprehensive 4 0 victory over the Canaries in this one. Next, the tea time kickoff, half past five, we've got Brighton up against Watford. Both of these teams picking up three yep. points on the opening uh, weekend of the season. Brighton in front of the fans. I think we mention this all the time now. I think they will take the spoils in this one. It's going to be a tight affair. Brighton don't seem to concede that many at home. Watford, not sure really what to expect from them. That they, The thunderous start in that first match where they, they went 3-0. I think mm -hmm. it was 3-0 ahead yeah. against Villa until Villa came back into that one. So they'll be a little bit nervous now perhaps going into this fixture. I'm going to go Brighton 1, Watford 0. I disagree on that one because Brighton mm -hmm. actually have very poor home. Home form. I think they only won uh, one or two games at home last season. Or they, something ridiculous. Yeah, it wasn't too good. But it I wasn't think good at all. They don't concede that many goals. Though. They don't concede that many goals, but they don't score that many goals, and then something always slips through. Football hipsters again supporting that, especially with the expected goals and all that malarkey. But Watford, they were superb last time around. Just got to make sure that Adam Messina doesn't give away any penalties in this one. Uh, I'm going to go for a narrow one. One one. Interesting. Next up, we got the first of the Sundays at two o'clock between Southampton and Man United. Now, Southampton getting destroyed by Everton in their first game. Mind Adam Armstrong had a superb debut. What a goal that was as well. But Man United started off on the front foot. Superb. Uh, Bruno Fernandes getting a hat trick with Pogba getting four assists. Something ridiculous. I think that's going to continue. I think it's going to be three one to Man United. Yeah, I totally agree on this one. I don't think they'll concede a goal. I know Varane was. Um, Bought out in front of the crowd yeah. and everything. But That's a problem. I'm, I'm wondering if he will start this week, and if he does, then that defence, whether they play five at the back or four, They'll I'm not four. too sure. But uh, if he comes into that, yeah, then Southampton are going to find it hard to score, even though that they are at home. Yeah. I'm going to go for a two 0 win to Manchester United in this one. I think I'm seem to think it was something like three two. Uh, they won at um, yeah. Southampton last season. But moving on, we come to the two o'clock kickoff on Sunday. We're Wolves against Spurs. Uh, surprisingly Spurs well maybe not at home against Man mm -hmm. City they picked up all three points but without Harry Kane great goal Kane by Son match. as well terrible defending by Man City though. it was uh, Wolves on the uh, the end of Wolves suffered defeat last week against Leicester um, narrowly 1-0 I think Spurs Prior to this season, I thought Spurs were going to be yeah. sort of just above mid-table, not able to get into uh, Champions League spots or anything. But uh, I think they've got enough to beat this Wolves team. Yeah. Uh, they're going to actually look quite good to me uh, last week for Spurs, and especially Son. So I'm going to go for a 1-0 away victory to Spurs. Interesting. It'll be a wonder if Harry Kane will be back for this fixture as well. Maybe you're know, not playing him until the transfer window closes, but who knows. But yeah... 
Nuno Espirito Santo, he has that team right. He works at, he he works out a lot of managers. And I think Wolves are going to have quite a lot of issues, especially if they can't score sitters like they have, in particular Adama Traore, who I thought was he had great chances, just didn't take them against Leicester. Uh, I'm going to go for two 0 Spurs in this one. Yeah, he had that one one on yeah, the keeper. Terrible. Just pulled it wide. Terrible. Moving on to the half past four on Sunday between Arsenal and Chelsea. Now, where do we start with that shambolic Arsenal team? I will leave it to you guys to uh, make your mind up on that one. But Chelsea, superb going forward. They they should have Lukaku for this one to make things even worse for Arsenal. Uh, apparently, Aubameyang is linked with Barcelona, which I think is completely ridiculous as well. How? Just yeah, how? How is he going to get in that? I know. And not only that as well, how can Barcelona afford him with all no, their issues? Yeah, not into that team, but in, how, yeah. are they, how are they going to sign him? Absolutely crazy. But yeah, Chelsea are going to have way more than enough to beat that absolute shambles. So I'm going to go for 3-1. You would think so, but Chelsea have an absolute dire record at the Emirates, apparently. So Yeah, but not against an Arsenal team this bad. No, but you never know. They could have players coming back yep. into this side and they're going to need... Arteta is going to need a response from this. Uh, Arsenal side as well but looking at Chelsea team squad absolutely yeah. amazing um, all over the park defensively in attack as you say Lukaku coming in Werner didn't score last weekend yeah. he, he did have one particular uh, chance which he didn't he couldn't slot away Alonso mm -hmm. uh, sort of deputising for Chilwell as well looked absolutely awesome his free kick for that first goal wow out of this world so yeah even though they haven't got a very good record at Arsenal I'm going to go for Chelsea in this one. I'm going to go for a 2-0 away victory. And the final fixture of this game week is on Monday evening. First at Monday Night Football of the That's Year. right, on Sky Sports. We've got West Ham coming up against Leicester. Possibly the game of the weekend this yep. one. You could say Jamie Vardy in that first match Super. against um, Wolves. He did a bit of housery after he scored that what amazing love goal. To see. A bit Keep of it coming. A, wasn't he right yeah, for love it <laughs> yeah up to his old uh, sort of antics wasn't he yeah. Jimmy Vardy but uh, they, they look good defensively they look solid mm. as well West Ham coming from behind to uh, beat Newcastle upon them um, if Antonio stays fit the whole season, he is going to oh, yeah. score he loads. Oh, took his goal well, didn't he? Oh, uh, yeah. Missed a penalty, though, but uh, there we are, but uh, followed up there. Yeah, 4-2 there. So it's going to be a tight one. I think there's going to be goals galore in this one, even though defensively Leicester are very sound. Yes. And I'm going to go for Desmond's in this one. 2-2. Two -two. Interesting. Well, I think Leicester are going to edge it towards the end okay. of the game. Uh, and I think, yeah, I think it's going to be 2-1 in the end. Uh, a couple of uh, less goals in there. But West Ham will definitely respond. Sponsor 2 1. Fantastic. So that concludes our mm -hmm. predictions for game week two. If you want to play along at home, join the league, then uh, yeah, leave your predictions as a comment. But if you want to play in the league, yeah. then remember head over to Subaru.com. The link's down below now. And the passcode is HUBSBOXY to join the Bluebird yes. Legend League. Now, before I let you go, Nathan, I know you're going to go upstairs in a moment yeah. and stream the Cardiff City versus Peterborough, United, Peterborough yeah, yeah. match at Peterborough. But uh, what's happening this weekend? Any more streams? or um, It's all going to be vlogs now. Excellent. So um, this Saturday will be Cardiff versus Millwall interesting game that'll be a Super. vlog so that'll be out in the evening then next Tuesday we have got uh, Cardiff City versus Brighton in the Cup and the following Saturday we have got the first derby of the season between Cardiff City and Bristol City in the seven side derby so Fantastic. check that out in the description below so for the game week free predictions we may be yep. doing that from the car again and uh, a lot of people love that but yes uh, anything else before we go nope. no nope. right we're off now lots to do thanks for watching join the league have a great time time watching the football this weekend and we'll see you all in the next video.